Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Divinity. Let's go for a witch hunt. And hopefully not get totally destroyed by a witch. That would be embarrassing. Well, that that's a very good sign. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay. Um, we're fine. Okay. Just let that burn out. We're good. Rest up, friends. <clears throat> oh. I didn't think the mines were still active. I thought those would have blown up. Oh, it's one of those. Wait, that's not gonna work. What? It's an oil barrel. <laughs> uh. I, mean, I suppose we can just walk through. What's this? It looks my eyes. My eyes fooling me. Run! Let's use your telekinesis. There we go. Okay. What a lovely place we have discovered here. When that music starts when you enter an area, that's probably not a good thing. Poor Madat. I hardly knew you. For right now. What is this place? You stay up here. We will go see this witch. A tall woman stands amid a field of corpses, some fresh, some ancient. The sour smell of them stings your nostrils, your eyes. As you draw nearer, the stench blooms into a humid flavor you can almost taste. The woman turns to you, bitten lips parting into a grin. She tucks a small bunch of black red roses into a leather strap across her left hip and, preparing to curtsy, offers you a hand. Nah, I'm good. What a bull. She stands to her full height, her lips pursed in disappointment. She cocks her head and takes you in. The stench of death and sewage suddenly intensifies. Hmm, unfazed. She peers closely at you. A shrewd smile playing about her lips. Ave de more de mere galach. You recognize the chant of the infamous call to the Black Ring. Redeka notes the recognition in your eyes. Very good, kitten. Now, I imagine you're here for the same reason I am. She pats the bouquet at her hip. But you're too late. These roses belong to me. Looks like we'll have to find some other way to keep you busy. Let's talk about Slain. Oh, I do hope that little so-and-so hasn't been talking. Those chains were in a place for a reason. You have no right to imprison uh, anyone? Again, you are a slaver, technically. So, she's the reason why so many sorcerers are believed to be <laughs> evil. How earnest you are. I do love that in a man.
Tell her you're here for slain and won't leave without a way to help then her. Then I suppose you aren't leaving, darling. Dumb. Well. Figures. Okay. Darling. Combustion. Could probably just tell actually teleport you. Nice, so that freeze of fun. Get blinded. Ah, oh, they still hit me. There it is. You spit upon me. Do not spit upon my person. Get blinded. Oh, you have magical armor on. Why does everyone want to heal Fane? That's so rude. Are they going to go free fun again? Is no one going to... There we go. Like, save your damn summoner. My spell? My own spell against me? We can go up here. Oh boy, this is cursed now. Oh. 
so close. Seriously, what? Okay, what is. Healing spells and potions will damage you for 100%. So that's what decaying is. Diseased. Cured by Fortify, Bless, and First Aid. Con minus 2%, damage minus 35%. Okay. Got it. Nice. Our disease as well and decaying. Let's move out of that. Ugh. So, no heal spells right now. We could bless. We could bless. I don't think we need to. That won't really do too much. Um, Blooded Corpse. There we go. You're on Necrofire. Take your attack of opportunity. It's fine. Decayed, right? No, we're not. Is there anything around? Ooh. There it is. Fane. Hey, buddy. Let's go up here. You are not decayed yet, so... Or disease or whatever, so we can heal you. That wolf and then our incarnate summon basically took, well, I guess with the help from me, Ethan, too. You are not diseased anymore. So let's try and heal you. Hmm, okay. There we go. Oh, I should have done that on the um, blood. Oh, well. Good damage. Aha! 
Aw, oh, poor puppy. Trying to dodge some damage, and now we are decaying. Let's see, you're almost dead, so let's just do another totem over there. You're dead. Totem should be able to handle... Oh my god, the other beetle over here. Or just you. get cleared out, huh? There we go. That bloated corpse. So much damage. Madat's aromatic journal? The rarest bouquet of all. Oh. Okay, so you're in the wrong place, wrong time. And the witch. Purging wand. Infect. Deals physical damage. Infects a target with a disease that will spread to other nearby characters. Disease characters deal reduced damage with... Oh, okay. So, yeah. That's the disease. Blocked by physical. Interesting. Unidentified ring and gloves and another wand. I got excited. Okay. Is that better than what we have? I mean, our wand is purging. But, um, yeah, I guess. What does other multiple ranks of Hydro give us? More vitality healed. Okay. Probably want to wear that. HP and some resistance. Plus two to initiative, plus two to wits. Wits is what gives us some critical chance, right? Yeah. You're gonna wear that, buddy. No runes to insert. What? what? Arrow girl. What do we got? Nine percent damage as fire. Do we have any other runes? We do not. Okay. I mean, clearly we want to keep them. I just don't think we're going to be using the purging one in any of our real fights besides the ones that are specific to, um, like, the Shriekers. 
Let's give you this. Oh, right. And these are keys that we can get rid of. Oh, a pearl. A dark pearl. Um, you may want to keep that. You may need those for crafting materials. Fire arrow, give it to you. I got all this stuff. I mean, you're gonna need some resurrection schools too. Oh, in the this. Learn this. Infect. <laughs> we don't have a belt. Why don't we have a belt? What the hell's going on here? Was that everything? We got her arms. Uh, we'll put this into a backpack. We are using her wand and her ring. Yeah, yeah, that's everything. Okay. Now, let's go have a dragon owe us a favor, shall we? And you, you get a fawn up on the high ground. He will just go to town. It's such a beautiful thing. Just walk around it. We're fine. Hello, buddy. Let's quick save in case he tries to double cross us. And let's hope he doesn't double cross us. You see a glimmer of hope flicker across Slane's eyes as he notices your approach. It's quickly doused with a practice scowl of the oft disappointed. Have you. have you brought it? Or am I to remain a slave? Hmm. No, dragons are not meant to be slaves. We are a lizard of our word. We told him we would free him. We will free him. Slain rears back in eagerness, grasping the purging wand with razor sharp claws. Before your eyes, the source from within the wand surges into his draconic form, filling him with a light so bright that you must shield your eyes from the glare. The blazing brightness oh. dies down. Squinting, you now see no dragon before you, but the figure of a handsome lizard. A handsome lizard with the same eyes as slain. You're a dragon knight? What? His eyes still blaze, a piercing silver. A triumphant Polymorph? smile dominates his face as he bows extravagantly before you. Slain. Against all odds, I am at your service. You a lizard or a dragon? Neither. Both. I am a dragon knight, the last of my bloodline. Shifting between two shapes is our greatest gift. Whoa. Yes, we face great peril. We hope that a powerful dragon knight may prove a worthy ally. He smirks. I offer my aid to those deserving. You have more than proven yourself as such. But I am no errand boy. And I do not come when called. When you are truly at a loss. When you have no choice but to back down or perish. You will find safety in my shadow. This, I promise. You know what? That's good for me. A, a get out of die free card? What are your plans now? This is an island of many mysteries, of many horrors. I'll learn what I can. Perhaps there is some possible reprieve for the souls who suffer here. Slane smiles at you and turns to leave. He takes no more than a few steps before he shimmers out of lizard form, blurring in midair back into a majestic dragon that soars away. Cool. We have a dragon knight as a friend. Uh, let's see, Wits and Huntsman. Oh, but Intelligence 11. Do we already have plus one Wit armor for your gloves? 
be fine. Energy staff. Okay. Hmm. Oh, your intelligence is level is 12. Oh, okay, cool. Well, this is for you. Higher critical chance, higher initiative, and also plus one to Huntsman, which grants us now a 25% to all damage when attacking from high grind. I thought it was already higher than that. I guess not. And besides that, we just got some money and a rune. Copper ring, we'll add that to wares. Yeah, you have the cursed ring. Um. Okay. All right. I'm down with that. Uh, now we need to explore what this place is. And it looks like we can get there from over here. Hmm. Yeah? No? Oh, we are too heavy. Um, why didn't everyone else come? Come on, friends. Ooh, we also should make another stop at that dungeon. Get you some more source points. Alright. The stone gargoyle trains glistening agate eyes upon you. Its jaws creak open, raining dust as it begins to speak. I'm sorry, what? You are not Bracus Rex. Show the gargoyle the ring of the Source King. Welcome home, Master. Ha ah, ah. ah, ha! Ah. Well, that was easy. Okay. Uh, ooh, Source Point. Your inmates oh. have long awaited your return, your highness. Uh, v very Welcome good. Welcome back. Alright. Okay. Uh, well, I guess we go into this tower. Oh, and so since we have this ring, we get to bypass this, like, tra trap infested area? Okay. The air out here is a damn sight better than in Fort Joy, eh? Um, how many contracts have you fulfilled? Ifan begins counting on his fingers and muttering to himself. This goes on for quite some time. Forty-three, give or take. Forty-three. I have killed more than that. Ivan curls his lip, disdain evident oh. in his eyes. It's not a competition. It's my job. What else do you want to know? Well, fine then. I guess we'll just... Ivan smiles. We'll just go in here. It is a competition, you mother... Brachus Rex's tower. Oh boy. Uh -huh. dust. They crumbled to nothing centuries before. Oh, you can just say you see two skeletons sitting at a table, cards in hand. They creak and turn to stare at you. Hello? Why, my darling? 
Just simple necromancers. Simple, dead, cursed necromancers. Oh, flesh, does your impudence know no bounds? You dare pretend you do not know the mighty rascal? Necromancer to Bracchus Rex himself? You disgusting. What are you doing here? Where else to be? We were sealed in here by Bracchus Rex after his treacherous concubine convinced him we were planning to rebel. Gratiana told her master that we were to stab him in the back. That trollop has the morals of a wasp. Not that she were wrong, mind you. Huh. Ask if they mean the priestess of Amadia that you met. Priestess of Amadia? I've known cheese more holy than her. She was the one that helped Bracchus to power and led him down his dark path. Wait a minute. Okay. The wench has hardly been vied. She stole children away from Bracchus so he could feast on their source. Even my iron stomach was turned. Um, take your leave? What do, what do they, they do? We were tinkerers, if you like. We made this and that. The odd tool. The odd trap. The odd weapon of mass murder. Whatever Bracchus desired. In my time, I sculpted many elegant traps. My work with life was unparalleled. Such a precious material. Capable of rendering something invisible or rendering it vapor. The Shriekers, yeah. Certainly not. I would never craft something so crude. None of my tools can ever be undone by a simple purging wand. The Shriekers were a favorite of Bracchus's. He found the plans for him in some dusty place. Ancient and cracked they were, but full of promise. Take your leave. I'm not going to help oh, him. Poppy, what makes you think you're leaving? Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh, please forgive my joculation. Leave? You shall not leave. Mm. No, if they want to fight, we'll do it. An interesting maneuver. I uh, just sit back for now. What the heck are they doing? They're not even attacking me. This is an odd fight. There we go. All right. What the heck is going on? They're not even fighting back. I don't understand. with 
the dumbest fight ever. It wasn't even a fight. And then there's Necromancer Samson. Huh. Yeah, we got their soul jars, right? That opens this. Hang on. I've killed you twice now. Oh, do we? I'd feel sorry for you, Puppet, but death is a gift. Trust me on that one. I don't have... Do I have hers? I have an empty soul jar. Quick. We have Gratianas and Rask. I left one behind. Ugh. Okay. But, like, they still aren't even trying to kill me. Farewell to flesh. Farewell to bone. Farewell. I would do that to the other one, but I don't have her. You really don't get it, do you? Yeah, we've, we've moved on. Jar of Mind Maggots? Sounds beautiful. Blood Rose. Yeah, we just saw a few of those. Aha! Is that Geomancy? Interesting. It's a character in the area at your command. Poison swarms slither up from the earth, attaching to every character in the area who is not protected by magic armor. Affected characters cannot move or teleport, and they receive poison damage each turn. Yep. Learn that. Hi. You approach the still body and see its nostrils flaring. Long dead eyes rise to meet yours. As you lean in close, it lurches forward. Its arms thrash against the cage bars as it tries to reach you. Looks like it hasn't been fed in a very long time. Oh, how about you just stay there, friend? 
Lady Shelbia, Moladina, and Sir Buckington. That must be the dog. These have to be developers. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Magical door. <gasps> Is that Brackus and... Uh, what's your name? Lucky find. Okay. What does it say about this antique key? May have one use left in it. Alright. Look out. I see a trap in the line. <clears throat> yep, that was a trap. Wait, 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 there's a rat. You don't look lost at all. Are you being sarcastic? Sarcastic me, not at all. I'd never be sarcastic me. Oh no, not in the least. Hmm. Do you know about this place? The rat's eyes widen. I don't know anything about this place. Nor do I know anything about a blood rose or a witch or some dead people. What about the witch? Oh yes, oh yes, that's right. I'm so going to give you all the information you want while you do nothing for me. Nah. I wish you good luck. I'm not going to mess with you rats. There wasn't even anything in here. Really? Well, I guess now we know. Let's go. place for there to be a well. Hmm. Well, how the hell? The air around the glowing relic thrums with power as the source barrier quietly crackles in the background. Call up your source power. The hum of the relic grows louder, and bright light starts to spill from its runes. Cracks start to spread across the surface, and it shatters like glass. Ah! Let's quick save. Seems this takes, I'm sorry, two source points. Huh. 
Huh. Won't budge. Won't budge. Won't budge. Too heavy. Aha. Uh -huh. Nothing? Not too heavy. Won't budge. Too heavy. Plus one to scoundrel. Magical combat dagger. And a rune. Plus one to scoundrel. It was a strength one or was that a finesse? Strength. Don't really need the dagger. I kind of expected a little bit more. Especially like in these things. Hold on. Aha! Artifacts of the Tyrant. Worth... Where are you? There we go. Okay, Hands of a Tyrant. Water resistance plus one to two-handed. I'm assuming there is a full set, though. And there wasn't anything in there. Checked all that. We found some armor called the Hands of the Tyrant, part of a full set, it seems. The armor has a strange aura to it, almost like it bears some sort of pestilence. worth using the scroll. I figured that these strength requirements had to be somewhere near the other one. That just makes sense. Um, hold on. Sorry, my phone buzzed. All right. Well, now that's cleared, so I guess we go... Down here, right? Amadia, Amada Sanctuary? Cool. Alright. And I think we'll end there. Because... Gratiana is apparently a little more than we thought she was. I will see you on the next episode. Take care.